Hi, Uxbridge community. Um, this is Mike Rubin, Uxbridge High School principal, and I just want to uh, thank you for taking some time to even think about uh, celebrating our class of 2020. Uh, to begin, uh, this has obviously been a very trying time for us at the school, and I'm certain uh, for everybody in the community, uh, but most especially this uh, this graduating class. Um, you know, some things that you look forward to from the day you uh, start high school and even before that as the day you get to walk across the stage and uh, be a high school graduate. And uh, it goes without saying that a lot of the things that this senior class uh, has been really excited about has, uh, you know, none of those things have really come to fruition. Uh, things like the prom or a senior year sports season and those final days of class, uh, you know, th those are hard things to get back. And um, while most of us will return uh, to some sort of normalcy in our uh, in the future, we hope at some point, um, and a lot of them will go on, obviously, to, to very successful lives. Uh, you still don't really get a chance to relive things that only really happen once. Uh, so our attempt really over the next, uh, you know, few weeks is to hang on to as many things as we can that you know, we think the seniors would A, enjoy, and B, will help us all celebrate them, uh, beginning on May 31st with a parade here in town. And, um, you know, we've been working out uh, the details with uh, our public safety partners, the Board of Health, and uh, so many other folks that have uh, parents and the class officers, uh, all of whom really are, are chomping at the bit, I think, to to just send this class off. They're a special group. Uh, they're a group we're going to miss a lot up at the high school. And so um, the purpose of this is to outline the uh, expectations for this parade so everybody can participate and we can do so in a, in a safe way. Um, the parade's going to take place on May 31st, which would have been this class's actual graduation day, and it's going to take place at 2 o'clock p.m., which would have been their actual graduation time. Uh, the parade's going to start 1.45 p.m. We're going to have the students meet at the old uh, high school building, McCluskey Middle School, and that'll be at 1.45. First few cars will be uh, reserved for, obviously, Officer uh, DeVoe, and I will be in the in the first vehicle to, to lead the parade. And then the uh, officers, uh, the class officers, and the valedictorian, the salutatorian, will be followed by the rest of the class. Uh, they're going to assemble in that parking lot. That'll be at 1.45 p.m. And at 2 o'clock p.m., we are going to start. Um, we're asking the students, uh, really, there are some guidelines they need to follow. First of all, the kids will, or the kids who are graduating, these young men and women, will not be driving. Uh, the car has to be driven by someone who is not the graduate uh, for obvious reasons. We don't want any students who are super dis uh, distracted by those who may be viewing the parade. Um, that could be a problem. We're asking the kids to decorate their cars with some uh, some school spirit. And if they could, put their names on it so you know who's in the car. Um, our hope is that the students will be in the back seat. So if you're on either side of the street to view them, they'll be able to, you know, roll down the windows or hang out and, and be able to to see who everybody is that's there watching. So um, we have some aerial shots. As you can see, uh, this is the old high school down here in this circle that I'm uh, that I'm, I'm pointing to right here. Uh, it's going to pull out of the side entrance of uh, the Capron Street campus and then turn left onto Granite Street at two o'clock sharp. And those are the athletic fields in the Taft School heading up to the cemetery and up toward Whiten. Uh, and this just sort of spells it out. Once they pass the fields and Taft, they'll pass St. Mary Cemetery and the Whiten School they will stop at the four-way stop sign at Hartford Ave and then will turn left and stop at the stop sign, uh, I'm sorry, the stop light up at the CVS where they will turn left on uh, to Main Street. Uh, from Main Street, you can see this is the section of Hartford Ave. They will traverse. They'll turn left at the CVS onto Main Street. And as they turn onto Main Street, they're going to proceed all the way down Main Street, all the way through the center of town until they hit the courthouse, at which point they're going to turn right. And the procession will turn right at the courthouse down the Quaker Highway and will end when it turns left onto the UHS campus. Uh, and again, there's the length of Main Street. 
turning onto uh, the UHS uh, campus. When it gets to the UHS campus, they're going to turn left onto the UHS campus, down the driveway, past the front of the school, and then back up the driveway. And when they get to the top of the driveway, everybody is turning right. Uh, nobody's turning left onto the Quaker Highway. Everybody's turning right, and that's the end of the parade. Uh, the 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 students uh, and their drivers. Uh, part of the reason to turn right is uh, we know there may still be some vehicles turning onto the campus as others are turning to exit it. Um, for you, uh, the community and people who are viewing the parade, uh, this is a special opportunity for us to celebrate the class. So we're asking you to cheer, to celebrate, to acknowledge, but also to be safe and uh, to maintain social distancing guidelines and any safety guidelines that are established, uh, which means um, really uh, as you line the parade route, one of the suggestions we're making is, you know, you park your vehicle and you stand in front of it on the street side but you're not uh, approaching other cars or any of the moving vehicles. And I think that goes without saying, please do not approach the moving vehicles. Um, those in the parade will be driving slowly, um, but we don't want the cars in the parade to come to abrupt stops, uh, to have graduates leave the cars, to have people running up to the vehicles and trying to pass things into the vehicles, um, anything that could potentially distract the drivers. Um, one of the things we are very concerned about is the accordion effect, and that is when one car stops short, the next one hits into it, and the next thing you know, you have a pretty awful situation. So um, please uh, maintain those guidelines. Um, it's going to be just like any other parade. You would not be uh, running out to, uh, to, to a parade if there were a band walking by or uh, you know a military vehicle or something to that effect. So we, we're really asking you to celebrate the graduates, to hold up signs, to make lots of noise, uh, to show them love. Uh, but to do so in a safe way. And uh, that that's really the one thing that I and our, our, our partners at Public Safety are really most concerned about, and we really need people to, uh, to respect. Um, again, the end of the line is the UHS, uh, is the UHS campus on Quaker Highway. All vehicles are going to exit to the right. The UHS staff and our faculty are going to be lining the driveway. So we would ask, um, there is plenty of room there if that's where some parents would like to be. But we are going to uh, leave the, the driveway up and down the median for our staff uh, to, to see, see off the graduates. Uh, I want to, again, uh, really extend my thank yous to uh, the community, uh, to everyone who has reached out to uh, support this class during a difficult time. Uh, and and certainly to, to, from all of us to you, we, we really do uh, say this with a great deal of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you uh, to Lieutenant Burke and Officer DeVoe, who have been coordinating this on the public safety part and uh, to Dr. Black at the Board of Health. Uh, who has been in constant communication with Dr. Tiano, my, my, our superintendent, my boss. I, I really do appreciate uh, everybody's willingness to, to go out and, and support this class. Um, again, whether it's been the parents, the advisors, our faculty, we really are dedicated to making this a special day. So we hope to see you along the route on May 31st. We'll be there for uh, 2 o'clock stepping off. And or I should say uh, <laughs> revving off, I guess, as will be uh, in, in vehicles. But we thank you uh, for for your uh, hopeful attendance and for cheering on this great class. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, be safe out there, everybody.